My father and grandfather were both furniture manufacturers, so I spent many years working with my hands, and I always loved to work with my hands, doing woodworking with my dad when I was a young boy. I had a strong interest in the science and was very active athletically, and decided to go on to medical school. So my inspiration for orthopedics, I think, was um, coupled with the, the manual uh, nature of orthopedics, and the skills that I think I learned as a young boy, but also my love for sports and being able to, I think, to communicate well and to understand the goals of the athlete and their desires to get back and remain an active lifestyle. I was the head team physician for the Washington Redskins uh, from 2000 to 2008. It's uh, very fulfilling to see those athletes get back playing um, and during my time there I was fortunate to see many um, athletes from, from uh, star players uh, through the um, journeyman athlete to be able to get back on the field and uh, perform at the highest level. I treat patients um, from adolescent on through um, uh, adult and I treat athletes um, of all levels and patients of all levels, non-athletic as well. So I have a diverse patient population. Many are patients who are interested in returning to activities and I try and help them um, in that process and getting them back to whatever level of play they're interested. Um, in the most efficient fashion. I perform uh, about 400 procedures a year. The uh, majority are arthroscopic and minimally invasive procedures. When necessary, perform open procedures as well, specializing in treatment of shoulder, knee, and uh, elbow disorders. Whenever possible, we like to use minimally invasive surgery. It's less painful for patients, less invasive, allows for easier rehab, and, and generally allows patients to return back uh, to their, their activities and their sports more rapidly. Arthroscopic surgery is a, a method of, of surgery where we use minimally invasive techniques to uh, treat athletes and allow patients to be able to get back to their level of uh, activity um, much more rapidly because the procedures can be performed uh, through smaller incisions that are less invasive, less painful uh, following surgery and, uh, and allow uh, patients to be able to return to their activities uh, generally in a, a quicker, more efficient fashion. I pride myself in being very accessible to patients. I like to discuss all treatment options, whether they're um, non-operative non as well as surgical treatments, and give the patient the best understanding that they can have about the treatment options that will be available for them to allow them to return to the things that they would like to do. I've been fortunate to be involved in, in uh, some of the advances in arthroscopic surgery. I hold 17 United States patents for uh, orthopedic devices that I've developed and uh, I've been fortunate to be able to uh, share those uh, techniques and devices uh, throughout the world in uh, helping to lecture physicians, thousands of physicians around the world who are using some of the uh, techniques that I've developed. But it's important to stay on the cutting edge and continue to follow and uh, participate in the, the developments and advancements in orthopedics so we can provide those services to our patients. I find that being an athlete myself, I can really relate well with my patients. Um, I understand their, their desires and their goals to get back to, to their sports. It's a big part of my life and I, I know it's a big part of their life. So we provide information, patient education information to our patients in a variety of ways. Uh, one is during our conversation uh, on their office visit. Should they have any questions, they're always free to call and I'm, and I'm very available to speak with them over the phone to any, answer any questions that might come up after they've left the office. We also have um, patient education uh, videos that we review in the office. Um, we also have that available on our website and we have similar printed information to discuss various uh, orthopedic problems. Um, and various treatments, both surgical and non-surgical treatment, that outline in a, in a written form uh, what uh, to provide patients a better understanding of their problem and the various treatment options that are available. When I first uh, meet a patient, it's important for me to understand what their goals are. Um, in order to, to design a treatment program that's specific for a patient, um, I, I understand not only the nature of their problem, but what their goals are for returning to activity. Um, understanding those goals help me, helps me to uh, tailor a program to that specific patient and uh, allows me to guide them whether the treatments uh, should be surgical or non-surgical in allowing them to return to their, to their various activities.